part of my this part of my my it's ponytail. A good, it's a good look. It's a good look. This isn't real hair. It's just attached to the. <laughs> it's attached to the hat. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> so it's attached to your helmet too. There exactly. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> it's clip on. Um, what's going on? Any kind of update you can give us, and what's going on CBA wise? Uh, not that I know of. Um, you know, they're supposed to be reaching out to each other. You know, every day, and um, you know, trading offers, negotiating, doing their thing, and. Uh, you know, obviously we're just hoping that we can come to a fair agreement, you know, as soon as possible. Will you guys be out here tomorrow? You know, I don't even know what the labor laws say. Um, I, I thought it was like 72 hours after the old CBA expires, you know, something like that. Um, obviously, I'm not from Alberta. I don't know what their labor laws are, but, you know, we'll be out here, obviously, until, until we're told we can't be. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll take the proper action. It's pretty hard, I imagine, to get to the point where you've gone for three days, 100%, pedal to the metal, and then you might have to shut it down for a while. It's, I imagine that's tough. Yeah, it'll be. I mean, it'll be weird. And then I, I think the the uh, you know the craziest part will be not knowing when you're going to step on the field again, right? Uh, you know, obviously you can sit here and say you hope that it's going to be soon and whatnot, but you know we also would have hoped that this could have been done in the off season, could have been resolved months ago, um, and it's not, and we're here. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. You're going to miss getting asked about this every other day in training camp? No, no. <laughs> I love talking about the CBA negotiations. It's my favorite part of training camp. <laughs> hey, we're just talking to Manny. I don't know if you've gone up against him much in, in the drills or not. Uh, mm -hmm. what's, he, what's he looking like? Yeah, I mean, he certainly knows how to play the game. Yeah. A wily old vet. Uh, tell me about what you've seen from him. He looks good. I mean, so far from what I've seen, like you said, he's a, he's a vet, right? So. You know, where a lot of those young guys are coming in, and they're just trying to run as fast as they can and show that they're athletes, things like that. Manny knows the game, right? So he's here, he's finding open windows. He knows how to beat certain coverages and, and whatnot. So, you know, I know it'll be nice to have him in the locker room. Um, you know, his leadership and his experience in that in that receiver room is going to go a long way. I was going to say, it's nice to add some swagger at any time, eh? Absolutely. It's always nice, especially, I mean, you, know, you guys know how Coach Jones gets down. You know, he wants guys who take care of business on the field and can have fun with each other off the field. What's Ed Ganey been like just having back in the second league? I like him, man. He's competitive. Uh, he's a competitive dude. He's a real good dude to talk to. Um, you know, me and him, you know, we talked a little bit here and there whenever we would play each other. Um, but it's nice to have him out there, you know, kind of kind of see, you know, what gets him going, things like that, and uh, have another veteran on the opposite side, you know, a ball hawk over there, honestly, who uh, he finds a way to get his hands on the ball. He's, he's been a guy where uh, Kiwis tend to, to throw away from uh, more often than not, just yeah. just because everybody sees what he can do. Uh -huh. Is that beneficial for you on, on the other side? Uh, I think it is. You know, it comes down to a pick your poison type situation. You know, it's, it's, it's nice to have that. I mean, great. it's a great problem to have. Um, good. Yeah. I, I, well, one more I was going to ask you. You're the lone survivor, right, from, from last year in the defensive backfield, I believe. The only, the only Me and Nafis. Nafis yeah. yeah. Nafis Lion. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, only the strong survive in this game. You know, I've been here since 2013, and there's a lot of familiar faces back in the building, but, you know, this is, uh, you know, this game is not for the weak hearted. You know, it, it takes a lot to be where we are. You know, we sacrifice a lot, we train a lot, and, um, you know, when it all pays off and you can make a place like this home, you know, it's definitely all worth it. You might be you're the only guy from 2013. I know you left yeah. and came back for a year, but you're the. I think everybody else is gone. Right? I think I'm the only guy who was here. You suffered through that year. Was I don't think was Tony Washington here in 2015? Um, nope, not until 2014. Yeah. 14, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm the only guy from 2013. You've seen some things, eh? I've seen some things. Good thing they brought Manny in, so at least I'm not the oldest yet. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> what, what's this? quarterback battle been looking like just from, from your end on the field? I mean, uh, obviously a big competition for a pretty important job. Yeah, I mean, you know, from the defensive side, it just looks really good because they always throw us the ball, you know, so we're just picking their asses off and making them, you know, making it tough on them to make the team. That's good though, right? <laughs> nah, it's, it's good. It's been really good. You know, uh, we breed competition out here, you know, and I think that's what championship teams do. And I know that the quarterbacks are, are taking their turns. Um, and it's good because they get to go against, you know, the A group and the B group. Right. Um, and, you know, it's kind of cool that it seems like they all get along as well. Uh, so it'll be some good competition back there, you know, and uh, I mean, we'll see who comes out on top, right? Cream, cream always rises to the top. Does that make it a challenge? Just so many different arms, so many different ways the ball gets thrown and, and just different tendencies. I mean, you guys get a lot to keep track of who's doing what. Yeah, to an extent, you know, but at the same time, the offense is still running their offense, right? The quarter, it's just a different guy throwing the ball. So the ball should still be going to the same spot. I think it makes it harder on them to kind of find their groove, you know what I mean? Uh, but 
like I said, only the strong survive in this game, and, and we'll see who makes it out. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, guys. Sir. Thanks, Thank you. Aaron. Appreciate Thank it, man.